live, and we're coming at you from KNAB, Utah. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. We're not live. We're not live. We're live in the kitchen. We are alive in the kitchen. And we're alive. Your live to alive. Yeah. We've had such a good morning. It has been a good morning. Do you want to tell them about our morning? We got a last minute opportunity to go for a hot air balloon ride that turned into me piloting the hot air balloon, which was super fun. Yeah. Well, we went to crew. Went to crew for the hot air balloon. I got to crew. Patty got to ride and pilot. Rock, paper, scissors. Sam yep. lost. It was a, we went through three rounds, though, before I lost. Yep. I thought you were going to try to lose. Tie, tie, tie. I think we were both trying to lose, and I think that's why. <laughs> <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted Sam to be able to go up. And I think she wanted me to be able to go up. So we did rock, paper, scissors. And since neither one of us was trying to win, it was the same thing as trying to win because we're both trying to lose. Yeah. But you had, I mean, I had a great time crewing. Yeah. And you had a great time flying. And we have two more mornings where we get to go crew and fly if we want. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. So what are we talking about? I think we're going to talk about a recap of our Better Lover May. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I want to I wanna know if you learn if we became better lovers or not. May was a freaking busy month. May was a busy month. So, unlike, well, when we started to do the Better Lover May, we were in like full bore lockdown, right? And, you know, I mean, what better way to go through lockdown than being naked? So, we thought this is a great way to do it. But then everything starts opening up, people start coming to visit. And we have kind of a small house and, you know. We've had guests pretty much every weekend. <laughs> loud, crazy <laughs> sex is out the window. So it's more about just sneaking a little in here and there. And um, so we did, we did. We started out with who? Who was our first guest? Who was our first Better Lover May guest? It was Shari, right? Shari. That's yeah. right. Shari James. She talked about Boner Whisperer. Boner Whisperer. Hello, Mr. Boner. I think she doesn't do it like that. She doesn't. It's nothing like that. <laughs> if you listen to the podcast, you know it's nothing like that. And that, that was like a that. joke. But if I do you love didn't listen to it. You should go back and, and I'm not sure that it, well, you haven't really taken action on that yet. But I do love the idea that you can change the, your relationship to your penis through breathing and. I'm going to give your it a go. Your nervous system, your circulatory system. I've been actually taking the last two weeks because I've been, I think we've talked about the herbs before. I know we wrote about it in the book. And, um, so His I, boner herbs. I quit taking them all and uh, I'm going to call Shari and see what she's got. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Mm, watch out what you wish for there, sister. That's a good, don't call me sister, that's creepy. Watch out what you wish for there, sugar tits. That's better. <laughs> so that was good. And you're going to sign up soon. Well, then we'll have to report on that. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be cool. Um, and then we had uh, Patty. Or did we have Ian? Mm, Patty and Ian were like the day we recorded them both within like Four, 24 or 48 hours of each other so i can't remember who we launched first i and think we know we, we launched patty first then ian we did yeah patty contenta the ultimate blow job uh no I that came after she comes first i thought we did because she comes first duh oh unless it was the other way around or well, it stupid. doesn't matter anyway patty <laughs> with her boner uh ultimate blow job instructions yep i learned some things uh, that I was like, no, I'm not doing that. Definitely not doing that. It grosses me out. We gave, we took both of those uh, instructionals. Um, both of which instructionals? Ian's and Patty's. And uh, we well, both. Ian didn't really give a lot of instructions. He on does the in podcast, the book. But in the book, the, he's very I read detailed. the book to prepare for the podcast because we had the book for a year and I hadn't really read it yet. Um, and thanks. so I was embarrassed. Thanks, so for, I, thanks for reading the book. I read the whole book before the podcast. Thanks for and, reading uh, the book. I mean. I know, right? Thanks for reading the book, honey. So that gave me some really good tips, and I I practiced some of those, and Sam practiced uh, some of the ones that Patty gave us, and we had both we had a couple of really good days there, and uh, we were there's some takeaways from there that we probably won't, um, they'll probably throw into the mix, right? You said we won't, but we will. 
No, I was gonna say I was gonna say we won't stop doing, but we'll, oh, got it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And I tried things that I thought, um, in my mind were disgusting, and I didn't want to do it at all, and I did it anyway. I did it anyway. Um. This is all on her own prompting, though. Not yeah. Mine. No, this was me. And if you listen to the interview with Alana, um. We inter- we interviewed no she interviewed us first and then we interviewed her on our podcast I think Alana Pratt she's also part of the Better Love May yep. Better Lover May uh, she kind of gave me a little bit of accountability because I started thinking well why wouldn't I try it like here we are we're trying to be relationship experts and now I'm writing a book about sex it seems silly for me to not try some things when I'm encouraging people to go outside of their comfort zone why wouldn't I go outside of mine yeah. I don't want to be a hypocrite. So I tried some things and you liked it Mm -hmm. and because you liked it, I liked it. Yeah. And I like flavored lube a lot. (laughs) (laughs) It works real good and stuff. Yeah. So that, that is, um, that's kind of our nutshell follow up in that, uh, we both, I, I think we have a, a pretty damn good sex life and um but at the same time there's shit that people talk about you know that we've had on this podcast in the last several months that um that are that they're like at a whole nother level and it's like wow you know i mean we we're we, what we think what we have we think is pretty good but if there's another level out there why not explore and give it a go and so and so this this definitely took us outside of our comfort zone and now we have more tricks, more tools, and more pleasure, I would say. Yeah. We, we'll, we'll report back on this from time to time, but I think 2020 for us is going to be, um, it's going to be pretty eye-opening from that perspective in that we've committed to just say yes to learning more about sex. Yeah. Good way to put it. And, and applying it. Yeah. Even if it seems like weird to us or awkward or something. Creepy that... or disgusting or. Yeah. Because I think all, I think most of those things that are put in our head about that are religion or societal or political or. There's shame based you... due to patriarchal religions. Um, there it is right there. I said it. Yeah. Yep. And Alana, Alana taught us that our most important sexual organ is my penis no it's our brains oh well, that's right dang it that was dang, so close were... it was really close fail <laughs> what is it again honey <laughs> what um yeah i don't what did you learn from alana's podcast that feels like it was a long time ago Although I don't think it was all that long ago. I think, well, we had, we had like a, the part, the problem is we had like a 40 minute conversation with Alana after we stopped recording. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I can't really remember what we talked about on the podcast. And, you know, for anybody listening out there, we almost never listen to our podcasts again after we do them. So the should. fact that we can't remember what order they're in or um, what we said on them all the time isn't, uh, I don't know. You guys should write in and tell us whether or not we should listen to our own podcasts and if you think it would make them better if we did. Yeah. Email us. <laughs> Sam at Bigger Love. Patrick at Bigger yeah. Love. I want everybody who's listening to this podcast to send us a message uh, of your favorite podcast that we've done and the worst one you think we've done. Whoa. Because then I can get some decent feedback on and maybe why you think it was bad. Um, because we know it's not our guests. Our guests are all amazing guests. We do um, have amazing guests. But I, you know, we'd love, we love critique too, because as you know, we like to be, we like to get, try to get better. Being better is good. Being better is good. Well, and we also want to know what you're interested in. Yeah. We, we've been doing these podcasts based on what we're interested in, which is good. And maybe you're interested in the same stuff, but maybe there's other topics that we haven't even touched on or covered or haven't covered in depth that you want to learn about. That would be so awesome if you guys would reach it. And you can email us, Patrick at BiggerLove.com, Sam at BiggerLove.com. Those are super easy to remember. I just said that. I know, but I'm saying it again. Okay. Because this is recording and 
almost all of our listeners are driving down the road right now. Yeah, that's probably true. Or they're on the jog, they're jogging. Or but everybody can remember Bigger Love, and then all you do is remember our names. True. And, and then dot com. True. That's easy. What is it again? Everybody at once. Good job, guys. Um, let's see what else. Oh, and then you know we have a Facebook group where you can leave private messages um, or send us messages that we get. The not so perfect couple. Yep. There's an Instagram. Not so perfect couple. Yep. And we'd love to hear from you. There's bigger love community that's also on Facebook. There's a bunch of different places you can reach out to us. So please let us know what you guys think. Or what y'all think if you're back east. That was that was more south, isn't it? Nope. They say it all the way up to Maryland. Oh. Then when okay. you get to New Jersey, it changes to use. That's weird. And if you're in eastern Pennsylvania, south of Pittsburgh, they say Ewan's. Do we have any practical, applicable tools or tips we want to share? I'd, I mean, if it's okay with you, I could share just the tip. Um, Nobody wants to see that. Yeah. You want to see it. Of course I do. It's my <laughs> favorite thing to look at. <laughs> Penises are so pretty. Practical tips. Be open-minded. Um, yes. Read read the book. If you're a man and you're listening to this podcast, read the book, She Comes First, because... It'll change your... It'll change your partner's life. Yeah. Assuming that your partner's a woman. Yep. And if you don't, then try again. And if that still doesn't work, then read the book again. And I guarantee you by your third try, you're going to be on it. And she's yep. going to be one happy gal. Yep. That's that's my main takeaway. If there's anything at all going on that's preventing you from being uh, inquisitive, exploratory, or um, what's the word we're looking for here, more uninhi more uninhibited, um, then uh, you know some of the other people that we had on our podcast are great people to call to help you through that. Yep. Shari, Shari is a good one. Uh, we've got a podcast coming up with this awesome lady named Eva Clay, who uh, does a lot of work with women. Uh, so she might be another resource as well. Yeah, she's kind of like the equivalent of Shari James, but on the women's side. Yep. And I'm going to do some work with her. So I'm excited about that. Yep. So, so we've given you some resources in case you want to expand your sexual horizons. And we've tried it ourselves and we think it's pretty... Oh, and then... Duh, pretty uh, cool. We forgot to... We forgot to talk about Alana, which is basically oh, the overall know, the other thing I love about Alana is like she brings this not I think everybody brings the spiritual into it, but I think she really focuses on that and really creating yourself as the one. Mm -hmm. And the intimacy. Yeah. She she believes that the emotional intimacy leads to better boners. Yes. <laughs> Well said. I'm just that was it's not just the boner, probably. No. Just where my brain is right now. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. This is a quickie. We just wanted to do a quick recap and we're gonna be doing this from time to time, uh probably throughout the summer as we learn more and try more. Yeah. And we still also have tons of amazing guests coming up. In fact, I think our next guest will be Dov and Re and Renuka. Yep. Dov, the dragonist Baron, and his amazing and wonderful wife, Renuka. Um, what, they share some really good stuff on that podcast. That was, yeah, they have a lot it's of really good ones. one to look forward to. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So, like I said, this is kind of a quickie podcast, and we also want to leave you with the, uh, this thought, and that is that as much as we're trying to, like, expand and get into the whole spiritual and you know, Physical. better technique physically and all of the sex things. And those all take some time, but leave this podcast is also a reminder that from time to time, quickies are okay. Is that really what we want to leave them with? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Just like yes, this podcast. Quickies, quickies are fine. As long as both parties are consenting or if it's more than one party. I think if one party is not consenting, they call it rape, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I just mean 
I don't, I mean, enthusiastically consenting, you know, yeah. well, you don't want to have a quickie if your wife's like, oh, I hate quickies. Don't do that. Or yeah. vice versa. But if, you know, you want to, anyway. Get your rocks off. You should just have a quickie. Yeah. Cause that's, sometimes that's all you, that's all you get, but make sure you carve out that time for the long, slow. We haven't carved out that time and for the we're long, doing it, slow. And we're doing it today. How are we going to fit that in? I'm going to, I'm going to find a way. Okay. You go. I'm going to. You go, boy. I'm going to. All right. I, I love you. <laughs> and I love our audience. Thanks so much for listening. Until next time. See you. See ya. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all.